1001, and this is the second day of my six days of Blender tutorials. So today I'm going to show you how to do a shatter effect in Blender 2.58.1, and here's how to do it. <coughs> so first you have to press Control Alt U to go into User Preferences. Go to Add-ons, Object, Object Fracture Tools. Check that. Check the little box there. Right, just click on it. Then everything's still the same, and except when you press space, you can type in uh, fracture, and you'll find fracture object. So I'll do number shards 20, because that's the number of shards I want. Now adding more could cause it to take longer to render. So I don't want to. I don't want th to take more time, so I think that 30 will be okay, but just press Z, and you'll see a bunch of random shards in it. Press B, box select it all, space, setup, fracture shards, and now if you pr now if you press Z, then P, it falls apart. If you, if you left it in wireframe, then same thing happens, it's just in wireframe, harder to see. Now choose one of these. Choose one on the outside. To, uh, it'll make your life easier if you accidentally select something later, because you have to make sure that it's orange. And if you accidentally select something else and deselect it, it won't be orange anymore. So just uh, it'll be the darker orange. I'll just try not to select anything that's not a part of the cube. Go to game logic. Always collision. Leave the always and collision sensors there. Edit object, edit object, dynamics, suspend dynamics, dynamics, and leave it because it's already restore dynamics, which is what you want. So drag the line across, it'll give you and. If you don't want and, but you do for this, you can choose these, but you do want and, so it's easier just to drag from one side to the other. Now, default, B, select it all, and see how this one's lighter. If you choose something else, and this one is not, like if you did this, deselect it, then you'll want to reselect that. You want to co a copy logic bricks to selected. So now if you go back to game logic, you'll see that they all have the same script here default out of wireframe and it doesn't fall apart it will if something hits it but nothing has hit it yet so let's change that I'm going to put it all on to it has to be on the z-axis because the projectile that the preset projectile and fra fracture helper object the projectile goes negative on the negative y so it'll go down on the y axis so you want it above your object so I'm also going to put everything above the origin so just move it all up yes there's no reason to not move it up except to save time which I don't really care about right now so if you press P it'll shatter the object pieces fall and the effect is done. So <coughs> that's how to use the fracture tools in Blender 2.58.1. And tomorrow I'm going to show you how to make an airplane in Blender 2.58.1.